revalorisé. Ja, das ist schon gefallen. Okay. What's up, guys? It's Raging Raptor here, and I welcome you to another new tank from the Super Test, the Sherman Revalorisé. As you can see, I tried to, so, to say it already in the beginning of the video, but... Meh. Aka, the Super Sherman. So, this is a Tier 8 French Premium Tank. It is a Sherman hull with a tremendously powerful gun. So, let's have a look at it. It has 1400 hit points and an engine with 460 horsepower. With a weight of 35 tons, this tank gets 13.14 HP to ton ratio, which is actually not really good. The maximum speed of 40 kilometers is also okayish, 16 kilometers backward is meh. In return, the hull traverse and the third traverse are fairly good, with the hull 40 degrees and the third with 43.8 degrees, which is actually really, really interesting when you think that this gun is huge for a Sherman turret. When you even think that the Sherman Firefly had already a huge gun, this one is even huger because it's 105 millimeters of caliber. But yeah, the terrain resistance is in fact really, really good, with 1.0 1.1 and 2.3. This shows that Wargaming tries to compensate for the bad power to weight ratio with a good terrain resistance. And also 390 fuel meters of fuel range is also a really cool value. And radio range of 750 no one cares about. The hull armor is fairly bad for a tier 8 tank with 50.8 in the front, 38 on the side and on the back it's not known. Well, yeah, and the turret with 63 all around is also not that good either. But what do you expect? It's a Sherman on tier 8 with just a really, really strong gun. And yes, it doesn't have special matchmaking. But to the gun now, I think is the best option to see if this tank is worth any bucks. It's a 105mm D1504L51. It does 390 damage and has 200 millimeters of penetration, 250 with my suggestion with heat and 53 with HE. The round of fight is 4.46 shots and the DPM is 1743. Trust me, this DPM is not good. They will change it. I'm really, really sure about this. Like they changed it on the object 777, which I will do a video about it as well. And the reload time of 13 seconds is way too long. In fact, this, that this is a French premium medium tank. And premium, medium, medium tank. Medium should be fast and agile and things like this. It is not. Basically, in my opinion, this is exactly the counterpart to the AMX CDC. This one should be played even more as a sniper. We'll come to that. And even more highly because you're not that fast. With the accuracy of 0.34, you are even suited for sniping. Just the aim time is ridiculous long with 3 seconds and the gun depression for Sherman is bad either. And yeah, I can understand that. It's a 105mm gun on a Sherman turret. There has to be no much space to lower that huge gun or loading mechanism. But in my opinion, I wait for a buff to this tank because right now... Yeah, I don't really think this tank will be really competitive. But one thing I really like is the huge, seriously, look at that huge thing on front of the gun. And I actually forgot how it is called. Write it in the comments when you know it. I am stupid in some occasions. So yeah, thanks for watching. If you liked it, leave a like and tell me how it is called. And yeah, don't forget to subscribe for the latest World of Tanks news and reviews and things like that. And as always, good luck on the battlefield.